Hello again guys, Gazu back in here and today we're going to be taking a look at a re-review on Albedo in-game this time. We're going to be taking a look at if he's for your party or not, if you summoned him, how does he play, what should you build. Timestamps are in the description if you want to know. If you haven't already seen my Albedo character review video, take a look at that in the description. First things first, let's talk about if Albedo is for your team. Now some people summoned him on accident and want to know if he's worth the materials to build. Now since Albedo remains to be a sub DPS, you have to really think about what does your team need. We have Tartaglia here as our main DPS, Zhongli as our second DPS and support for shielding, Albedo for our sub DPS, and we have Bennett for healing. Now when you're building a team, you obviously want to have two damage dealers, a support, and a healer. What I mean by support is, you know, buffing units, people who give you extra benefits when it comes to fighting on the field. For example, Albedo gives me the elemental mastery, Zhongli gives me the shield, the petrify, Bennett gives me the heals as well as the attack boost. So you wanna, again, buff your main DPS. When I mean sub DPS, I mean people who dish out damage, but their whole kit can be played outside of them not being in the field. So for example, Zheng Li, you can put out her bear and you can use her ult and you can switch off and you'll still get all the damage. You don't really need her to be on the field. Same thing with Kaya, same thing with Chan Yun. Xing Q. People like this would be the replacement spot for Albedo. Now, could you have two sub DPSs? Maybe. But you have to think about what you're sacrificing on your team and what you're gaining as well. Really balance out how your playstyle is so you're not all attack because if you have everybody main DPS, you won't get too much value. You want to have some buffing units, obviously, you want a healer and sub DPS to help you out there. To sum it up, he's a sub DPS, so if you do like his playstyle, put him in. If you don't like his playstyle and say you like Fischl better or you like Zhang Ling better, then don't build him. Now, let's say you decide you want to build him. Let's take a look at the build I have currently. So we are running 46% crit, 158% crit damage, 124% energy recharge, and 71% geo damage bonus. Now, as you can see, his stats aren't necessarily the highest, they're kind of eh. That's because Albedo's attack stat is fairly low, his defense stat is fairly high, and we kind of built attack instead of defense, as well as my rolls on artifacts <laughs> aren't the best either. As for artifacts, we are running a 4 set Petra. You can run a 4 set Petra or a 4 set Noblis or 2 Petra or 2 Noblis. Just know the 2 pieces are for him specifically and the 4 sets are for buffing the entire team. The reason why I use a 4 piece instead of a 2 piece Noblis is because the 35% damage increase on the particular element on Crystallize happens so often that it's pretty much a flat increase in damage for your main DPS. Now since I used Tartaglia and I'm always using water damage, I practically have a permanent 35% damage bonus for Hydro. So with using a 4 set Archaic, you're kind of abusing the fact that you get crystallized reactions so often that you're putting it to your advantage. Though you do sacrifice the 20% increase ult damage, it's up to you. I think 4 piece Archaic has better value. So for substats, we are only focusing on crit rate, crit damage, defense, and attack. If we can get all four of them, that is great. Most of these have crit damage, crit rate, attack, and defense, so not god rolls, but these are fairly good rolls. We have the geo damage bonus cup, we only have a 4 star, so it could be higher. If you guys get a 5 star, you probably dish out more damage. We have the crit damage thing here, and the attack percent. Now if you have AC to Albedo, where his damage is directly increased by his defense, that's when you want to switch out the attack for defense. But right now, since we only have a C0, I think this is this will work. Now, as for the weapon, we are running the Black Sword. The reason why is because we're using the crit rate. This is only level 70, so this is not necessarily a complete Albedo build. Now, if you already have high enough crit rate, the reason why I'm only using this is because my crit rate is fairly low without it. If you already have good crit rate, then you could probably pop Festering Desire. Festering Desire does increase your ult recharge. It's up to you, depends on your substats on your artifacts, whether or not you need it, but again, Festering Desire is probably your better choice. You get the 60% increased skill damage and skill crit rate. Now, once we refine this more, I'd probably use this because the crit rate can go up to 12%. So 12% plus 23, though it's not the highest, it's still something and it's still going to have the increased skill damage bonus, which I think probably has more value. Now with that out the way, let's go ahead and take a look at how Albedo plays. This. <laughs> Witness my great undertaking! Crumble! Gather! This is order! Rise! Coming to be! Everybody stand! Off we go! Witness my 
My great undertaking! Coming to be- huh. Coming to be! Yeah, brace yourself! This is gonna hurt! This is order! Coming to be! Witness my great undertaking! Coming to be. I will have order. Just brace yourself. This is gonna hurt. Right. Live. Witness my great undertaking. Everybody stand back. Quake! Yeah. No time to lose. Bring it on. Alright, and as you guys saw, Albedo was still able to dish out his ultimate and his elemental skill a lot. I know the numbers aren't as high. But again, if you do get lucky on better stats and better rolls, then you could probably dish out even more damage than I am doing. Right now I'm using kind of a partial build. We're going to be doing another damage test with Festering Desire just to take a look at if that changes anything. This has a higher attack stat and a lower crit chance. Let's go ahead and redo this domain and take a look. Burst forth! Tidal wave! Moment of birth! Quake! I will have order! Burst forth! Go in! Rise! Brace yourself! This is gonna hurt! Coming to be! Witness my great undertaking! Quake! I will have order! Rise! Lin! Teamwork is dreamwork! Lin! Witness my great undertaking! Crumble! Lin! Crumble! I will have order! Burst forth! Feel this ancient power! Crumble! Your mind! Rise! Your Burst forth. So with that, I don't think I landed a crit on the ultimate, so shows how much crit rate really does matter. Hopefully that helped you out with how Albedo does play. His cooldown is so short, you can really spam it back and forth with Zhang Li's pillar. Again, numbers will vary depending on what you build and what artifacts you have and how lucky you are. In conclusion, is Albedo right for your team? He is a sub DPS. Take into account if you sacrifice your current sub DPS, what are you losing? The benefits of Albedo is he gets a lot of crystallized reactions. His geo damage is pretty good. His whole kit could be used without him even being on the field. Even then, I feel like I've been using him on the field a lot more just because the initial isotoma damage just does a decent amount of damage. On top of that, he does give you the extra elemental mastery every time he uses his ultimate. You get a lot of benefit if you run an archaic set on him with the set bonus because it'll help out your main DPS and all your other characters, depending on what element it collides with. Would I say he's top tier or broken tier? No, I think he's built perfect. I actually like the way he's built. His normal attack doesn't do too much, but all his abilities do. His base stats aren't too high either. 
part of it's also because my build's bad, but <laughs> I feel like he's built honestly fairly good and he fits the role that he plays and he fits it pretty well. Hopefully this guide helped you understand how Albedo plays, if he's worth picking up or not. Congrats to everybody who did pull Albedo and wish everybody else the luck to get him if you are pulling for him. If not, we'll just have to wait till Ganyu. That all out the way. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.